So once again, here we are at the Emerald Ball, and with me today, I have Linda Dean. Now, Linda is one of a total icon of American dancing. Well, let's not get carried away. But <laughs> well, that's what you told me to say earlier. Oh, yeah, that's okay. right. That's right. That's right. She is owner of the Galaxy Dance Festival in Arizona. Arizona in September. In September. It's at a very bad time of year. Same time as the BBC. Uh, same time as the BBC. I know. <laughs> She also judges all over the place. So what we're gonna, I'm gonna ask you a question that a lot of pro-arms sort of come and ask us. We have had instances at this competition where students have danced closed categories and then they've continued to dance right up through the open advanced categories and done extremely well once, once they got to open advanced. So when you see somebody who keeps doing these multiple levels, can you tell me whether it has a negative or a positive effect on the way that you judge them? Or what do you think about this? I tend to judge what's in front of me at the time. If I think about it, if I have the time to think while I'm judging, um, I would say, well, good for them for studying so hard. <laughs> but I would also think if it was if, it, if they were dancing closed bronze and danced open, advanced open, for example, um, I would go, well, you know what? Good for them. They must have had previous training. <laughs> I don't know that I would look at it and go, think seriously about them winning unless, you know, at spur of the moment they deserve to. Okay. Absolutely. Um, if I were advising someone to do that, I would advise them not to. Okay. Now, if you're in closed silver, closed gold, you know, one of the higher categories, absolutely go for it. Okay. That is good. So now, on this, on this closed silver stuff, if you, uh, once again, you're watching a competition, and you see a competitor who is definitely out of category. Oh. And you're the judge, not the invigilator. Right. Does that affect the way that you actually would judge them? Okay. If there are invigilators there, yeah. it would it would not I cannot let it affect the way I judge them. As long as there's invigilators there, and I know they're standing there watching. Um, it just happened this morning, matter of fact, and I, I was standing there like this because they were so far out of category, and I thought, oh my God, oh my God, what's going Oh, okay, someone else, that's somebody else's business. And I marked it the way, it, the way they were dancing. But typically, in my mind, I say, why doesn't that teacher know his syllabus? <laughs> it's my question. And then, you know, typically, if they're so far out of category, they're not dancing their best anyway. That's very so cool. it may affect, not necessarily me as much as it would affect yeah. them. <laughs> Okay. Well, Linda, thank you so much for being so honest and answering our questions. And everybody, Galaxy is a great club. It and it is. is a great time of year. Thank you so much. Thank you. Mwah. Mwah. Mwah.